Look at this scene. Looks amazing, right? You would love to just jump in the water right now? Yeah, me too. But I won't, because it's the wrong time of day. Being from a very sunny part of Australia, where I see countless tourists get burnt, I really wanted to make this video to help everyone protect their skin, so you can all enjoy your holidays or even just daily lives without sunburn. I'm not a skin expert, which means you should definitely do more research, but I have been bodyboarding, surfing, playing basketball and spending time outdoors for most of my life, and I'm 36 now. I've had to learn the hard way, you shouldn't have to, so you can just treat these as local surfer tips. Now, you need to check your holiday location on the Bureau of Meteorology website. See this line just here? That will tell you the times you should avoid the sun. Yeah, most of the day during summer, because this is what a UV chart looks like. Starts out low, with a big curve going highest in the middle of the day, and then getting weaker. It's about 4pm Queensland time, so UV is low. And this is the most important tip I can give you. The more sun exposure you get, the weaker your skin gets. So let's talk morning sun versus the afternoon sun. In the morning, if you go out at about 8.30, UV is okay at about 5, but spend an hour and a half in the sun, and the UV has doubled to 10. So your skin is getting weaker and weaker, while the sun is getting stronger. This would be why our skin burns so badly in the morning sun. Now let's do the same in the afternoon. You go out at about 3.10, UV 5. But as your skin gets weaker, so does the sun. So you can stay out 3 hours and you'll most likely be fine. Actually that's still a bit early in my opinion, because if you want to be safe, I would usually recommend around 4. I would expect most fair skinned people to go pink at 3.10, maybe even a slight burn. Probably best to wear sunscreen or go out half an hour later. But because the sun is getting weaker as your skin gets weaker, you shouldn't even need sunscreen after about 3.45. You really have to know your skin, so ease yourself into it. Start with the really low UV after 4 Queensland time and 5 in New South Wales. They're on daylight savings, so it is different in summer. And then work back from there a bit each day. So if you went out at 4 and you were fine, try 3.45. If you were still fine, try 3.30. If you go a bit pink, you know your limit. 3.45 is the time I go out, and if I want a morning surf, because the waves are better without the wind, I go at about 5.30 and get in by 7.30, just to be safe. The morning sun really is much worse in my experience. Personally, I don't trust sunscreen to block everything. I have had days where I spent hours in the sun with sunscreen on, didn't get any burn, but I still got sick. It actually hit my immune system somehow. I'm not a doctor, scientist, or medical professional at all. Again, it's just a local surfer experience. Maybe someone can explain it in the comments for me. But I suggest exercising extreme caution when trying to rely on sunscreen. Your best bet is to stick to the low UV times. If you're visiting Australia in winter, when the UV maxes out at 6, again, if you go out in the morning and stay all day, you will most likely burn. Not to the crazy level of summer, but still a burn. I recommend following the afternoon rule and going out when the UV is at about 5. And if you're going out in the morning, aim to get out of the sun by UV 5. I want to stress that you should determine this with safe testing to check your skin. I'm fairly light skinned so I have to be more careful, but people with lighter skin would need to take even more care, while darker skinned people might benefit from more sun. Also I've heard anyway, don't quote me on that. Just find out what's right for your skin type. I do want to point out that you shouldn't be totally afraid of the sun. Just respect that it can cause damage, but will also help you be healthy. Some sun is good for us. You just have to figure out how much and when. So I hope that helps. I won't be monetizing this video. I just wanted to get the message out there. If you can help spread the word or even share the video, that would be really good. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy your days and holidays. Take care.